We welcome you back. A live look out in Dallas now. A little cloudy, a little breezy, but not a too shabby start to our Easter holiday weekend. Meteorologist Jeff Ray joining us now. And Jeff, uh, I think those uh, holiday Easter, maybe Easter egg hunts are looking too uh, too good right now. Right? Uh, yeah, we, we, it's going to be warm. Uh, cloudy and warm, just like today. Uh, kind of a repeat performance tomorrow, maybe a few degrees warmer. Here's a three-day forecast. We're in the 80s for Easter, which is a warm Easter. It'll be a, certainly a warm start to the day. Temperatures are in the mid 60s as we start. So that's a very warm start if you're out for sunrise services. We're in the 80s on Monday, but there is a weather alert out for Monday because of the severe weather threat. And I will be talking to you about that in just a few moments. Tuesday on the other side of the front, we're back to some April weather. We're going to be in the 60s and even have some overnight lows in the 40s by middle week. But of course, let's talk real quick about the eclipse. I, we're nine days out. We're starting to get some idea about the forecast. Of course, uh, the path of totality. It gets dark at the border of Texas and Mexico uh, a little bit before 1.30 and then it's dark over us for about four minutes starting around 1.38, 1.39 or so. Uh, but we're talking about cloudy conditions uh, right now. Uh, now the odds that you're going to have uh, either sunny or partly sunny skies in April are less than half percent, like it's 45 percent. That's because April is our storm season, really. The forecast right now is there's only a 25 percent chance we get optimum viewing uh, uh, from cloud cover on that day, on the 8th. So we'll keep you posted. Of course, it's nine days out. A lot will change in the forecast. Right now it's 75 degrees and a little bit of a south wind. Your hourly forecast, get out and enjoy the evening. Temperatures in the low 70s, about perfect. Though it's a little breezy as well through the evening hours. Now tomorrow will be another day of, you know, high humidity, a lot of wind, a lot of cloud cover, but we start mild in the mid 60s and we end up in the low 80s for an afternoon high. So let's Let's talk about Monday. The first alert weather team has a weather alert out for Monday. It's going to be across the afternoon and evening. The storms will form out to our west. The threat will start in our western counties by afternoon. The biggest threats will be large hail damaging winds. It likely be in the metroplex we think by evening. That's what we're thinking now. We're still 48 hours away. There might be a few passing showers across the day because the atmosphere is very capped. But there is the dry line thunderstorms kicking off. This is at 7 o'clock in our western counties and this is at 8 in the evening over the Metroplex and they're, they're going to have some punch to them. It's going to be going on through the evening hours and exiting as we get through the overnight hours. But just about all of North Texas and Yellow here, slight risk of severe weather. So the first alert weather team will be watching this. Again, large hail and wind damage is the main threat and we could end up maybe as much as a half an inch to an inch and a half of rain in some areas. Here is the seven day forecast, a couple of more days in the 80s, then the front and cooler weather. But again, that weather alert out for Monday afternoon and evening.